Hey, welcome back to The Ready State. I wanna to talk to a second about something that pops up in my feed every once in a while, and that's the conversation of mobility versus stability. So instead of me pecking the, the, the board, let me just elaborate a little bit on how I think about this alliteration. And largely, I think that this is an alliteration that just sounds good. But really, what do we mean by this? So let's define this. Every motion that we do has some kind of stabilization component to it, period by definition, otherwise we wouldn't generate force, we wouldn't be able to move, right? We'd just be noodles. So ultimately, there are a lot of components to the stability matrix, right? My, my, how effective my brain can quit my shaking, how skilled I am as a mover, what the surface is on, the load up top, all of those things. And what I tend to do is when I think about a stability exercise, I tend to wrap my head around these motions that look a little bit more like isometrics, where there's tempo involved. So where the goal is to help athletes feel a position. So if I'm doing an isometric or a static end range hold, that's a great stability exercise because it's teaching me where to go and what to do. Or it has a high rotational component, like a Turkish getup, for example, is a wonderful exercise that I would classify as traditionally a stability exercise because of the, the movement and the tempo. I'd also classify Olympic lifting as stability exercises because if I don't have or can't apply the principles of good movement, what I'm gonna see is that my body will deflect away from an active stabilization to a reactive stabilization. So instead of sort of proactively putting my body into good positions, my body will find that stabilization for me. Now I'm stable again. Right, now the shoulder's stable again. Now the neck is stable again. So the body will find these positions of stability so that I can continue to generate force, right? And if you don't believe me, go to a marathon, watch the arches, watch the knees, watch the low backs, and you'll see that the body's saying, hey, we don't have a plan for this stabilization or we've overridden that plan, and we're gonna find it anyway. So ultimately, stability is the name of the game because human beings are gonna keep going no matter what. But the mobility idea, remember, ultimately, we define as having range of motion, and technique, T-E-C. So mobilization and technique. And what we're, you could say, hey, this is, this is movement control, this is motor control, and this is just, do I have the tissue extensibility to achieve this position? So if we, if we drill down on this idea, it's crucial to understand that in this mobil mobility sort of concept, I have to have and express full range of motion or appropriate range of motion, which is going to include all the classic ranges, flexion and extension, abduction and adduction, but also a rotational component. So if I'm missing overhead position, and my elbow bends, and my in shoulder internally rotates, and this is how I solve the problem, I am not actually working in a st stable overhead position, right? How do I know? Because it's, it's not gonna last very long, it doesn't transfer energy very well, right? It's not, it's not inclusive of kind of creating other shapes and transferring to other patterns. I can certainly press here, but suddenly, if I, what I'm realizing is that if I don't have the requisite range of motion to achieve a stable position, then I don't have the mobility required to achieve sort of functional stable positions. This is why we look at arches. This is why we've used the cue knees out. This is why we say rib cage down. We're trying to organize the body into expressing normative range of motion. So if I don't have full dorsiflexion, I'm gonna have to turn the foot out and collapse. Is that stable or am I moving towards a less stable, less resilient system? So understanding that stability is by definition a component to full range of motion. So if I don't have access to that range of motion, that by definition is gonna leave me in a less effective position. The key here is though, I certainly cannot choose to express that range of motion and it can be unstable. So we need to define what unstable is. So if I'm pressing and my elbow flares, am I looking for stability? Am I t tension hunting instead of being a subsistence farmer and sort of planning ahead and using what I need to do? And you'll see that all the cues that we've been giving our athletes for decades, break the bar, armpit through. These are all cues around finding positions in the body that allow us to f affect more force generation that are stable over longer periods. How do we pressurize? When do we pressurize? What's the rib cage doing? What do I do with my tongue, the roof of my mouth? These are all issues of stabilization. When I close the system down, when I connect the dots and put the body into positions where it can generate more force, 
those by definition tend to be more stable systems. All right, does that make sense? So the problem is when I don't do that, my body will find that stability for me, rounded lower back. So is it, you know, for us, rounding your back when you deadlift is usually an issue of you didn't have a choice. You couldn't maintain a better spinal position that allowed you to transfer to jumping and landing and cutting and breathing and pressurizing and pelvic floor and all the things we care about. Instead, you said to your body, I don't have a plan, your body makes a plan. So is a flexed, rounded back, end range position, stiff deadlift, a stability exercise? Absolutely, why? My, body, my brain's not going anywhere, my body's not going anywhere, and I am rock solid stable. How do we know? We've seen it a million times. So instead of just saying, hey, is this mobility stability? Remember, do I ex have the range of motion to express this full position? That always includes rotational components and the fullness of what we think is normative range of motion. Stability exercises maybe aren't really stability exercises at all. They're just movements that have a, an end range that is an isometric or is tempo driven. So be careful when you're just saying, is that mobility or stability exercise? Because I'm not sure exactly what you mean in our language and clearly this is how I think about it. So, as you're moving off into the world, move better.